AX2012 introduces a new form concept, the Table of Contents form. The Table of Contents form is used when setup should be done as a series of steps, or you have a collection of related setup data that makes sense to manage on a single form. This example from AX2012 Employee Benefits, note the related benefits on the left-hand side of the form. Since the Table of Contents form is used to consolidate setup information, the layout of the content area should be familiar to the user. So the patterns inside here should be simple list, simple list in details, or simple details. In this example, types is a simple list, plans is a simple list in details, and options is a simple list in details as well. Since the table of contents pattern is really just a collection of many forms, it makes sense to migrate your forms to the new patterns before using the table of contents. In the previous two examples, we migrated a simple list and a simple list in details form. We'll use those two forms to create our table of contents form. Let's start by creating a new table of contents form using a form template. In the forms node, right click and select new form from template. In the submenu that appears, select table of contents. The table of contents pattern provides a tab page for us. We'll need two tab pages since we're migrating two forms. To create another tab page, I'll select the existing tab page, right click and select duplicate. Let's customize each of these tab pages. Each of the tab pages has a caption property. This caption is what will appear on the left side navigation pane of the Table of Contents form. Of course, if this were a shipping product, we'd be using a label in place of hard-coded string. Each of the tab pages also includes a header group. Within the header group, you can supply a main instruction and a supplemental instruction. Now that we've prepped our form, let's populate the tab pages. The content for each of the tab pages will be based on a data source, so let's copy over our data sources first. From the X2012 line of business form that we migrated earlier, let's select the line of business data source by drag and dropping that over to the data source for our table of contents form. Let's do the same thing for our pay table form. Let's copy over content to the relative tab page. Expanding the design node in the pay table form, I'll select the content within. Let's do the same thing for the line of business. Neither of these forms has methods that needs to be moved over, and we've customized each of the tab pages, so that should be all we need to do. Let's take a look and see what our form looks like. You'll note the left side navigation pane contains the caption we provided, the main instruction and supplemental instruction, and the content. And now we have a fully functional form migrated to the 2012 Table of Contents pattern.